Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel where I share ideas. I consider them great ideas. Anyway, uh, my wife's uh, handicapped to some extent and uh, she needs a hip replacement. So stairs has become a serious problem. So I decided I would uh, build an elevator. Now I thought of a, a stair lift to go on the upstairs, but they cost uh, an estimated uh, ten to fourteen thousand dollars, and they couldn't do it because we live in northern British Columbia, and uh, that really wouldn't serve as good as an elevator uh, because you have to sit down and you have to get up, and that causes more pain. Plus, we have a sunken living room here and uh, there's steps to go to the main floor and that was a problem too so this is my elevator I had a closet over here and some shelves for stereo equipment I tore that all out and I made this a wall that came out around here as you can see it there and uh, so the elevator is hidden behind here so this is where the elevator is here is just a steel platform and it, uh, it's angle iron here and it goes into a groove along here and a groove over here and, it, and that's the guide to make it go up and um, I've uh, got a brace over here so you can stand out here and it doesn't uh, uh, it's quite strong there this is a uh, a piece that I put on here, it's bolted on here, and it goes up, when it gets to the top it'll hit the switch up there and shut it off on the second floor. And you're getting a shot now of the upper part. Where I, that part was up there was where the bathtub was, and we didn't use it because we have a shower and a hot tub. So it worked out really well, and it's in an enclosed room as well, so we can shut the rooms there. Now, on this, uh, side over here you'll see this here series of notches here and uh, and when this goes up there's a dog on here so as you go up it'll go click 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 all the way up uh, that's a safety device there and uh, so it holds it there so this is my control here I couldn't get a wireless one but uh, so I use this I extended it to give me the distance I want there's 10 feet from the floor up to that floor there. Then I've got this uh, string on here. So as it goes up, it actually pulls the, the, it up there. So I'm going to raise it up here. And that's the level here of the first floor. This is built out so she can go through there onto that floor. So now it's just a matter of going up to the upper store here. And now this is a cord here. You can see it uh, with that, with that uh, pulling it up. It, uh, it's not in your way. It was no problem. This comes up and hits the switch here. Now this is just a, a 110 volt electric winch uh, with the two cable systems here. It left 808, rated at 880 pounds. So it's more than adequate. And the speed is good with the double cable. Uh, other than that, that's all there is to it. Now, I'd like to mention something. We live in northern British Columbia out in the country, so we're kind of out in the bush, you might say, I guess. But uh, we don't have all the building codes that you would have in the city. So this not, might not be an option depending on where you live. As I know places are very strict on what you can do and what you can do, can't do as a homeowner. But this is an idea if it's possible for you to do it. You need something cheap. I think I've got, uh, say, $250 in this whole setup. So it's a bit reasonable way to do it. Now this can be used, I'm using it for an elevator in my home, but let's just say you had a shop or an outdoor building and uh, 
you had a loft of some sort where you were storing stuff, where you, <coughs> the uh, regulations may be a lot uh, more lax, uh, then it could be a possibility there. So to go down, you can, my wife lifts this up here, gives her something to hold on to, and because that has to be lifted up and then down you go.